All right, Robbie, you had two hits in Tuesday's game. Do higher stakes power you up more? Uh, no, I think they just uh, make your make your focus heightened, I think. I think that's it. The more focused on what the pitcher's throwing and, and getting that pitch to hit and drive. So I think, uh, you know, the more pressure that's on you, the, the better you perform. Sounds good. And what's your performance like in playoff situations? Um, yeah, it's just really, really focused. You don't try to be too loose or too tight. You just want to keep it the same, the same mindset and uh, go into it with a plan and an approach. And what about your experience with playoff races? Uh, my experience with playoff races, uh, we didn't make it last year, but in, in high school we, we made CIF and we made a couple good runs. So I'm you know, pretty comfortable with being in, in those uh, uh, high stakes situations. Nice. And lastly, what is your favorite place to eat at? Favorite place to eat at? Yeah. Mm, maybe in and out I think in and out just classic. Yeah, always really, a good choice. Yeah, West Coast classic for sure. <laughs> nice. Thank you. You had to throw earlier in the game to get a runner out at home, despite you could have thrown it to second for the easy out. What is that decision like? Um, it's just, uh, you know, hearing it from your catcher, getting the call from your catcher, and, uh, you know, taking a peek before you throw. And uh, I, I think I have a good enough arm to get that guy out every time, so I nice. chose to get that guy out. Nice. And despite that great throw, you also had an error in the ninth that allowed a run. Yeah. Can you walk me through just what went wrong for you? Um, I, I just rushed it. You know, the guy was busting down the line and um, you know I don't I don't think we had time to get in so I, I just rushed my throw and it's, it ended up sailing costing us a run so definitely uh, something that we could have avoided but um, yeah next time we'll, we'll fix that definitely. Mm -hmm. We all know baseball is a game where you just have to carry on every day how are you gonna come back stronger in tomorrow's game? Um, you know every day is a new day and uh, you just gotta hit the reset button refresh um, I don't know what our standings are like but I'm gonna come out like it's win or lose, mm -hmm. win or go home, so awesome. definitely. Awesome, great, thank you. Robbie had a really great throw to get a runner out at home earlier in the game. Instead of just throwing a second for the easy out, what do you have to say about his awareness during the game? I mean, it's top notch. He's always, uh, he's made a couple of those plays for us this year. Um, mm -hmm. And that play was a big one. Um, Hurd was able to handle that throw, and I think it kind of really changed, uh, I guess you can say, the momentum for a bit. I mean, uh, unfortunately, we had a, a dirt ball that goes past us and they score a run anyway but it kept them from scoring two mm -hmm. um so i was looking at that play um and i remember saying i was like it's gonna hurt that team late in the game because you know the guy you know ran through uh the coach stop sign and robbie made them pay for it and i thought for sure that we would uh bounce back and be able to beat them but um we've had some miscues on our own late uh mm -hmm. which allowed them to solidify the w and Robbie had an error in the ninth that he took pretty hard in the moment, but he knows that baseball is a game where you just have to carry on and reset. What do you have to say about his mental strength? Oh, he's mentally tough. I mean, he took it hard on himself because he knew at that time it was a one-run ball game. I believe it was a double play ball flipped when he got the out at second. And the game that he is, uh, he just kind of tried to let it fly, hope to get the double play to get out of it. Um, unfortunately, sells on him, kind of runs away from first baseman, and it actually costs us a run. I mean, uh, he knows. I think looking forward, he did either want to put a better throw on it or probably eat it um, and just kind of see if he can find it out somewhere. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I didn't really say nothing to him about it because, I mean, he's automatic. Everyone's going to have their shortcomings, um, but he's not someone who's going to dwell on it or someone who's going to let it compound and make the next share. Next All right, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you.